There she goes. Some people just have to have the last day, you know. We love that part of the show, don't we, Mary Sue? Yes. We love it because we realize how far we've come. That's right. We used to be the Queens of the Nile. We were. We'll admit it. We were the I Queens of the Nile. I admit it. I was the Queen for a long time. Yes, uh, but I, I, you know what helped me is I had a little bit of therapy, you guys. I had a little bit of therapy. It really helped. I had a lot. Just say it. You know what I found out? It really was his fault. Therapist, I'll give you the number. <laughs> I think I'm the only chick in country music that pays alimony. Oh, man. <laughs> but I know of a couple attorneys and a judge that that's very nice. Hey, thank y'all so much. Again, for being with us tonight. You know, uh, Pam and I absolutely love what we do for a living. We have a uh, We've had the best time. We've been out on the road together for about three years now. And uh, we have what, what Pam refers to as the rolling slumber party. And uh, we've had a lot of fun and we've had uh, a, a lot of stories to tell to each other because we both were born and raised in this business. And I got my country music education with the late, great George Jones. And I was what they called the girl singer in George's band for a long time. S-A-N-G-E-R. S-A-N-G-E-R. Can you say it? The singer. Singer. That's right. And anyway, I would come on stage and I would sing a few songs before George would come out. And then I would sing harmony with George on this next song. And uh, Well, I would sing harmony with George on the nights that George would show up. I would sing with George. But a few years after I left the George Jones show, I decided to make this a single myself. It was first a hit by him, and then by me. We hope y'all really love some good country music. You see? 